Uh, one of the comments you made in our interview, uh, which was uh, this idea of intellectual honesty, really resonated with me. Uh, build on that comment, to build on that idea. What is it? Why does it matter? Who does it well? And, and who is blind to it? And why? So intellectual honesty is a, a term that means facing up to the world the way that it really is and not the way you wish it was. Uh, which is also a bit of a statement about mental health, of course. Um, and, you know, we wish the world was different. We wish that we all had that vaccine. We wish we never had the pandemic. We wish all sorts of things, but that doesn't mean it's going to happen automatically. It's, uh, it, it requires effort. It requires action. It requires this willingness to do something about, about the situation uh, we're in or you're in. Uh, and this becomes kind of a very personal thing. You know, Are you looking at your job and your situation in a realistic way. Are you looking at it the way it really is or with rose-colored glasses? That, that's what intellectual honesty means. And it has huge implications, right? Think about a company's strategy. If your strategy is going in a direction that's um, not based on the changes that are going on, it'll take, take a, a, a simple example. If, if, if you're not recognizing that everything has become digital, that every company is a tech company, and you, and you think that somehow you're, you're escaping that, you're, you're not facing up to reality. There's not a lot of intellectual honesty, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt you. You could pretend all you like, but reality will force its way back onto you. And that's, that's what this term intellectual honesty means, and I think it becomes really important. And I think now, as we're going through COVID, and people have more time in many ways for reflection and and, and you know we're not uh, we're, we're we're not traveling as much and um, and there's still lockdowns in some places and all that. Um, uh, I think we I think individuals have have a chance. People have a chance and are starting to kind of look at their careers and say, is this what I want to do? Is this where I want to go? Am I on the right track? Um, I mean, I've done it myself, and I'm a different stage of career than a lot of other people, no doubt. Uh, and I'm not close to retiring, but I know that I'm going to be doing things differently. And it's kind of forced me to look at it and say, wow, I, I love that track I was on. It was great. But I, I, I might do something a little different going forward. And this is what I think we're seeing more and more of. Um, and it's a shame it took a pandemic to get people to reflect on their lives. But that's what's happening.